Hi everyone, it's Kaide here. Welcome to this special Tidbits Corner of the first week of meditation challenge to improve our focus. So in this corner, I'll be looking at some frequently asked questions about meditation from public and also I'll be giving you some information and tips for you to improve your meditation skill. Is it good? All right, so let's get started and see what we have today. Question number one. Shall I listen to the meditation session using earphone, headphone speaker or mobile phone speaker? Okay, good question here. In order to answer this question, firstly, you must know what is the intention of this meditation session. So what's the intention? We do the practice to improve our focus, right? So this is not a sound bath. This is not a sound healing session. So the sound that I play in this focus challenge is to help you to direct your focus back to your breathing. All right. So it doesn't matter you listen with a earphone, headphone or just a mobile phone speaker. All right. And the other keyword that I want you to remember is unload. What's the word? Unload. All right. What does it mean by unload? So in proper meditation, we want to unload everything from our body that is useless to this meditation. For example, specs, all right? What else? Jewels, okay? What else? Watch, all right? Unload all these things from your body and really make your body feel light and easy, okay? But please keep your clothes on. All right. Otherwise, you just unload everything. So that's why in this meditation, I would suggest you not to use a headphone because it's too heavy. If you need to keep your surrounding quiet because there's somebody else in the room or in the space, maybe you can use a small earbuds. All right. Okay, fine. Let's see the next question. What if I fall asleep? All right, that is a very common question that everybody asks, right? So again, you have to know what is the intention of the meditation session. So in this challenge, we practice to improve our focus, right? So if you fall asleep, can you practice your focus? Of course, it's no. Whatever happens is already happened. So if you fall asleep, it's okay. Nothing you can do, just try next time, all right? However, there are tips that you can use to prevent you to fall asleep. Do you want to know it? Yes! Yes, all right. Tip number one, slightly open your eyes. During the challenge, I ask you to close your eyes because everything that you see will affect your focus, right? So that's why I ask you to close your eyes. But if you really feel that you want to fall asleep, doze off, all right, slightly open your eyes and you look at 45 degrees. Look at the ground, okay? Avoid anything that is moving around and remember to relax your eyelids. Is that clear? Okay, tips number two. Choose the most appropriate time for practice. You don't want to practice after coming back from work when you are feeling super tired and exhausted after a long day. If you practice, you will definitely fall asleep. <laughs> all right. And you don't want to practice after your meal. When you feel very full, what happens to your body is the blood will flow to your stomach and help you to digest the food that you eat. And that's why if you practice after your meal, you will definitely fall asleep. All right. And also you don't want to practice after waking up in the morning. Once you open your eyes and you start practicing, you will definitely fall asleep because you haven't fully awake. So for me, in the morning, after I wake up, I will do some stretching, some exercise and make sure I'm fully awake and then only I will do the practice. So I hope these tips helps you. All right. Okay. So next, see what we have. 
must I sit cross leg? Alright, regarding this question, I would like to share a posture that is very essential in meditation. Alright, that is called seven point posture of Virochana. There are seven steps that you need to fulfill in order to sit correctly in this posture. Number one, sit cross legs. Number two, sit straight up, lengthen your spine. Number three, stretch your shoulder backward a bit so that you can open up your chest. Number four, head facing forward or you may tilt down a little bit 45 degrees. And I also ask you to lock your jaw, right? Because if you don't lock your jaw, your head will start moving around during the session, no matter you fall asleep or not. All right. So number four, number five, your tongue placement. It's difficult to show you now in the video, but basically is the tip of your tongue is touching the upper palate behind your front teeth. All right. Something like that. That is number five. Number six, your eyes. You may close your eyes or you slightly open your eyes and looking at 45 degree on the ground. All right, that is number six. And the last step, your hand placement. All right, I give you two options in my challenge. Number one is you can put your hands like this on your lap, right? And the next one is this. I call it lotus palm, all right? So how you do it, you put one palm on top of another and you slightly touch your thumb like this, all right? And you rest your hands on your thigh, okay? This is the proper one that you may want to use it, all right? So here, must I sit cross legs? I would say yes, if it's feasible because somebody, they have difficulties to sit in cross legs. If it's not possible, you may just sit on the chair. But why would I suggest you to sit in this posture is because this posture will make you alert, focused, and also calm. Okay, number two, when you sit in this posture, your energy can move very smoothly in your body and will help you to unstuck some of the block energy in your body that is the additional benefit all right so in this challenge we practice to improve our focus right so if you sit in this posture it will definitely help you to improve your alertness and awareness and it help you to improve your focus i hope i answered your question so far if you like this video please thumbs up click the like button and share it to your family and friends and ask everybody to join this 21 days meditation challenge to improve focus. You know, because focus is so important in our daily life. If you want to improve your work productivity, if you are a student, you want to learn faster, you want to memorize something better, you need a very good focus. So through this meditation practice, I hope it will help you to improve your life. All right. So, Again, thanks for joining me in this Tidbits Corner. We will have another two Tidbits Corner in the future, which is after day 14 and after day 21. And if you have any question, you can leave your question in the comment section below and I will try to answer it in the next Tidbits Corner. If you haven't started any challenge yet and you happen to be here, I would like to invite you I welcome you to join me in this 21 days meditation challenge to improve your focus. So there's a playlist over here. You can click in the playlist. Currently, we have day one to day seven session, including this tidbits corner. I will be posting two videos per week. So next week, you can see day eight and day nine challenge. Is it okay for you? I hope everything is fine. I really hope to see you there in my videos. Join me in the challenge and have a nice day. See you there. Bye.